No donation, no salvation! And remember, respect is everything. And we're back. So today we are looking at Windbreaker or Zap, since he had two names in G2. So yes, this is based off the G2 character who, um, I don't know if he appeared in the comics. I think he only had the toy. Um, I think he was part of the laser rods or some kind of um, like hot rod muscle car series. I don't really remember which one he was a part of, but I thought it was a cool uh, looking character because, well... Let's be real here. He's based on a third gen Camaro. And if you know me, I love my third gen, you know, GM cars. So, uh, especially the Camaro and the Fire. I prefer the Firebird, but um, I really like the Camaro too. And it had rear louvers, so like I couldn't resist. Because uh, if you know me, I love me some rear louvers. If you don't know what um, a mid-80s Camaro looks like, well, here's a diecast of what I consider a fairly accurate presentation. Not all of them have spoilers like that. This one just happens to have one for some reason, but hey, it looks cool. I like it. So yeah, I just brought that out just for a uh, comparison, really. <laughs> I've already looked at that before in a past diecast haul. But yeah, here's the car mode. Very nice, very nice indeed. There's really not much to say about it. It's just a Camaro. I did have to use a little bit of white to, because I didn't have any orange fenders. Also, you'll notice I gave him slightly fatter wheels in the back because it's supposed to be like a dragster, like kind of, you know, drag race kind of car. So, I mean, the actual toy had that. So, you know, I figured it, it only seemed fitting. But, uh, you know, without further ado, let's uh, get straight to the transformation. Okay, we're going to start with taking off the weapon because I did try to respect as much of the original toy as possible, which uh, you did have to remove the weapon. Uh, only thing I changed is uh, the uh, this part now extends forward instead of folding up because, uh, well, it's Lego, so you got to work with what you got. So there's the weapon. That's out of the way. All right. Zoom out just a little bit. All right. So it's pretty much like all my standard car bots. Very simple. They're very... Um, very Mega Man and aesthetic, which is what I go for with a lot of these figures. Which, you know, it's just what I like. I don't know. I'm weird like that. <laughs> you just go ahead and fold that back. Fold the front legs forward. Hopefully I'm getting all this on screen. Alright. Yeah, you could spread the legs a little bit if you wanted to. Just because why not. So, um... Yeah, he had two names in G2. Because I think the toy had two releases. Uh, he had, I think it was like a Collector Club exclusive one, I think, or some kind of exclusive. And then he also just had the regular release. He went by two names. It was either Zap or Windbreaker, but I'm going to go with Zap just because, uh, it sounds, it reminds me too much of Windcharger, which is ironic because they're both based on similar vehicles of that era because Windcharger was, uh, an old Trans Am, or not Trans Am, but he was like an old Firebird. Which is basically just a Camaro with pop-up headlights and like different taillights. And Windbreaker here is a Camaro. But they both have rear louvers, which is funny. But yep, that's uh, that's really all there is to him. Um, there's really not much else to go into. He's pretty much identical to a lot of my other car bots, especially if you've seen my Wind Charger and stuff like that. But uh, I tried to do something a little different with the head. I gave him these very like kind of squinty eyes. I don't know. I don't know what I was trying to do here, but I kind of like how it turned out. And there's this little blaster so you can pew pew everything. So you can just go blam, kabloom. Oh, wait, no, that's Warpath. <laughs> um, but yeah, really not much to him. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Hallelujah! Another soul saved!